What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. So, we lowered the daily golf a couple of videos ago um, and it looks a hell of a lot better. Although, I don't want to say it, but I think it might be sitting a little bit low as there's a fair amount of rubbing going on just as you're even driving on a flat road. So, let's get it in the workshop and let's see if we can sort these issues out. So it's pretty low and just here is um, a screw which you can see is dented this wing and that is what that will be rubbing on. And then at the back, I can't even get my hand in. So we'll take it all, take the wheels off, get in and have a look, see what's going on, see what we can cut away to make it all right and not rub. Hopefully you can see, I've got my torch out. You can see what's been rubbing on that there and rubbing on there. So we'll remove that screw, fold all this back, cut a little bit of that away. Hopefully that'll sort that problem. Anyone that's going to give me abuse for taking and cutting arch liners out and saying you're going to get mud and stuff everywhere check this out so up in here covered in mud all of this is full and then this down here is absolutely soaked and i've just pulled all of that out of there so me cutting the arch liner is really going to make a lot of difference We sorted out the passenger front and we yeah took that screw out the top folded that lip back on the inside and we've done the other side of this one as well so looking in here you can see it's where it's all rubbed through the arch liner so we'll cut that away and that'll hopefully stop the rubbing on the rear then i'm gonna do the same to the front on the this side on the driver's side put it all back together we'll take it out for a drive let it all settle then we'll come back I forgot to measure it because I might raise the rear ever so slightly just to get it sitting level front and back since it's back sitting a little bit down. So we'll do that. Back from a quick test drive and the back is still rubbing, so we're gonna to have to raise it slightly less. So let me get a tape measure. We'll measure the center of the wheel to the arch, front and back, see what it is. Raise the back to match the front. For some reason, can't find a proper tape measure. Well, it's cheapest tape measure. Let's roll. Right, passenger front. Let's go from about the center. We're at about roughly 315. But let's just do another, another check. We'll go from the wheel edge of the wheel to there, so we're at 54 there, 43, 42, 52, so yeah, we'll jack it up, we'll do a bit of playing, we'll get them out, but first I'm going to a bit of paper, I'll write them all down, so we've got a starting point, and then we'll get it all adjusted so it's sitting, right. Need to raise it by about 13 mil 
I think from memory, don't rate, adjust these to that dimension. So I've adjusted these seven mil. And let's see what that does. Seven mil, so let's see what that does. Right, now that I just did, I'll take it up the yard, bring it back in, and hopefully that'll set the suspension. We'll measure it again, and see where she's sitting. Right, let's grab a tape measure, see where she is. 54, so we're one mil from where we want it to be. 55, back end, we're only 50, so we do need to come up a little bit more on the back. 50. So we need to bring the back up by another. If we turned it seven mil to get 10 mil, we want three to four mil more. Now the reason you don't just go adjusting it how much you want this gap to be is because obviously the springs in here, there's an arm and the wheels out here. So there's a sort of, I don't know what it's called. It's probably a proper term for it, but yeah. If you adjust that, the more you, if you adjust that 10 mil, here's gonna be 15, 20 mil, if that makes sense. So yeah, there is probably a way of working out with the distance and what to do it bang on first time, but I've not put coilovers on or played around with coilovers for many years, everything I've had had air on it. So whip these backs off again, lift this by, about put another three to four mil gap in, and hopefully it should be sitting nice. Right, I've been and cruised it up the yard, and we've got 54. 50. Three. 53. 54. So, within a mil, I'm happy with that. That's that adjusted. It didn't rub when it just went down the yard, turned it around the corner, give it a bit of a wiggle when it did before, put it under load, it didn't rub. So hopefully that sorted that little issue out. As I've been editing this video, I realized I'd missed explaining something. Just here at the back, where these two, bump, the bumper and the rear quarter sort of clamp together, there's um, a, a flat and there's a clip that goes in there. I've had to remove that as well because that really was quite, it was rubbing quite a lot on there. Um, so yeah, there's a little clip there, remove the clip and I've sort of folded the metal lip and the plastic back out of the way and it's no longer rubbing. I can confirm that now it doesn't rub. I've had me, the missus, the dogs driving a little spirited around some country lanes just to see if it did and it now doesn't rub. Although it don't look as good as it did now, it's a little bit higher. Yeah, we might have to try and work out what else we can do. Might mean, might include putting smaller tyres on it to get this a bit lower. But I'm gonna lock up, we'll jump in it, take it for a drive. Right then, just jumped in the car on the way home. Let's see if it rubs. First left hand corner. Didn't rub on that one, that was nice. Got a right hand corner, see if it rubs on that one. And the back now isn't rubbing. There's a very slight rub on the front which has appeared, which to be honest sounds like the plastic arch liner. So yeah, I don't I didn't cut much of that. I don't know if I clipped it back in. So yeah, I'll have to have a look at that. But I went this morning and drove to Luton um, to pick some up, which we'll see all about in the next video. Um, and yeah, car was bit of weight in the back down the motorway it drove like an absolute dream so yeah little daily beater I'm super happy with it and it looks pretty cool as well so I hope you've enjoyed this one guys we're gonna leave it here until next time enjoy